All right. Hi, sweet friend. Welcome to Watercolor Happy Hour. I'm Volta, the artist behind Color Snack. And this is my husband, Dan. He is the one that will be making a cocktail. On our usual show, you know, yeah. he makes the cocktail and I paint am it. I, am I making the cocktail? But this is a very special episode because we have a special guest. Chef Nikki of Asian Mint is here with us today. So over here, you see a gif of her and then you see her actual, this way, actual, <laughs> actual, the real Chef Nikki is here with us. So I, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, so if you guys may remember, I was uh, on Chef Nikki's show, Thai Takeover. It's on YouTube. I'll drop some links in the chat. Uh, but it was, she came over and like take, took over our kitchen and showed me how to make a delicious uh, like Thai ceviche type of dish. It was so good. It was so good. And then she also shared her sauces with me, which were amazing. And um, I, I wish I could say I've been cooking with them, but it was, it's been Dan. Dan, Dan's yeah, the hold one. on. I'm getting one. I'm getting the one that I don't know if we have any left of it. Uh, the stir fry sauce. Nikki, the stir fry sauce. What do you, what do you put in that? Because it is, I, I've started calling it, it, it one of my cheat code ingredients. Because you can just put that in anything, and it's delicious. Yes, you can. Hi, I'm Chef Nikki. Oh, it's right here. Oh, my goodness. So funny. I grab my favorite sauces too, which is the stir fry. So versatile. What do you use to cook it? What do you use to cook it with, Dan? No, ah, okay. So, uh, so what do I use to to with the stir fry sauce? Well, I, it it has this kind of like umami esque flavor. So I'm not using it with a lot of Thai stuff. I'm using it with more Japanese food. So I do a lot of uh, calling it fried rice is disingenuous but it's more like rice fried in stuff <laughs> or or i've got a, a like like i do a lot of like like really like cal calorie counting type of things and we have these uh these noodles from fiber gourmet oh yeah yeah, yeah. so these, these the spaghetti it's it's made with some type of special flour that is half the calories of regular noodles so we'll do like a like a variation of a low main where we'll boil the noodles and then uh, just fry them up with a bunch of vegetables and use your uh, strip fry sauce as a way of introducing a little flavor back into it because they're not quite as you know robust as typical noodles. Love that. Um, I've been using hirataki noodles. Have you tried that? Or like actually like no calories and almost no carbs, no carbs and like. Five calories or something. Have you tried those? Um, oh, uh, shirataki noodles? Yeah. Yes, yes. Your, I think your restaurant is one of the few that will do that sub, yes. which makes me very happy. Yeah, we, lo we love it. <laughs> We're on a low carb uh, calorie diet. I, I've. Uh, I went, I went up and down during the pandemic. So I went all the way up to like 220 pounds when I was just like on the big bread kick that everybody was in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to make our own stuff. Uh, and then I was like, no, okay, this is my time. I'm not going to any restaurants. Uh, I can just learn how to count, count calories. Mm -hmm. And I did. And now I weigh 165 pounds. Genius. I need to learn more about what you do. Oh, we're not here to talk about that because I know a lot. Let's talk about the cocktail. Let's we talk about the cocktail. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you use to start making it, or what do you want to do? Well, yeah. Well, like, I, I guess, what's the inspiration behind it? If you want to talk about the ingredients, like we know it, it looks pretty. So. Yeah. Why was this the cocktail that yeah, you chose? Yeah. Yeah. Why was it this one? Well, it's super, super pretty to paint for sure and she came, I, I gave you a few right I believe and then you're like this one this is going to be so pretty and the inspiration behind this drink is really the traditional Mai Tai and because so many people when they come to an Asian restaurant they'll be like do you have a Mai Tai can you get a Mai Tai they just associate that with all types of restaurants no matter what it is right Japanese Chinese <laughs> and like, I blame Benihana. 
for that. <laughs> and there you go. See? Yeah. <laughs> they probably made it very, very famous. And we decided, mm -hmm. like, I need to make my own version of the guy. So we called I T H A I my guy right? And we decided to put in some more Thai spins to it. And by that, I mean the mother Thai pea extract, P E A, not P E B. You know, we can't go into that kind of Thai pea. <laughs> but there are these beautiful blue flowers that I had in my garden. Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. And it's super sweet. It's so yummy. Oh my gosh, wait, you, you grow them in your garden, is that right? You can so, eat them? You oh. can eat them. They're edible flowers. Well, ours are, are, are dry. Well, so. I'm sure you can still eat them, though, if they're dry. <laughs> I, I want to see. <laughs> How are they? How's the dry version? <laughs> it, it's actually not that bad. It's uh. Now I want to go try some. I have to try stuff too. Yeah, it's a little fruity. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like beef jerky or something, but a flower <laughs> and not beefy. And jerky. <laughs> I love oh. it. Yes, they are edible. So this is the butterfly pea extract. It's like one of the most common high ingredients that we grew up drinking in China because it has really cool quality. Um, I think it is. Yes, yes, it is. That's the one we made. <laughs> nice. nice. Point. Okay. Can I? I'm, can you turn that up a little bit, yeah. Volta? I'm having a little trouble hearing her. Yeah, I don't want there to be echo, though. Oh, don't okay. worry, that's going to echo. 100% going to echo. No, why would there be echo? Because she can hear our mics get picked up through those oh. when she talks. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just a uh, little little technical challenge. That T-shirt. Are those your peppers? They are. They're the peppers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these peppers. Oh, these peppers. <laughs> Did you just throw that over the camera to me. <laughs> oh, amazing! I love it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and that T-shirt. You can get that t-shirt now, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll hook you up with one, Steph Nikki. Sounds good. Sounds good. Nice. Where's the next Yes. Oh, and, uh, and just, just real quick, uh, yeah, uh, on chat, uh, thank you all. I, I, I appreciate you guys congratulating me for losing weight. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and uh, Yolanda is saying that edible flowers are delicious, especially on cake. And I agree. But, but especially in cocktails. Yes. Also cocktails. <laughs> I love that. It's so cool. All right. So I got I got this can yeah. of lychee open. You know what? I I think I, I just had an idea as a, as a fun thing since since she's the chef. Maybe she should walk you through making the cocktail Ooh. instead of me making the cocktail. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. A let's little do it. takeover yeah, remotely. I'm ready for it. Okay. All I right. can be the safety net. Okay. <laughs> So first of all, meats and pies, right? You have all your ingredients ready to go. So let's go through them. We have one, two, three, four, we have six items plus ice. Ice is one of the items, so let's put on the seven. So we have some dark rum. And then I'm sorry? Well, okay, so, so the dark, the dark rum. rum. I do, I did, I did have a question on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking Nikki about this beforehand too. So okay. There's a few variations when you say dark rum. Mm -hmm. so there's like <clears throat> the Jamaican uh, pot stilled one that that is very very funky and banana bread esque. There's uh, made with uh, made with molasses. A more traditional Jamaican rum also made with molasses, not quite as funky. And then there's the dark rum uh, that's 
Well, then there's the, the like traditional, more Dominican rum that's very smooth, nice. And then actually one other dark rum that's made with almost pure molasses. We've got so many rums. Which is the Blackstrap <laughs> rum. And that one is, is like bitter. That's a funky one? This, this is the funkiest. So uh, the, the traditional, the Smith and & Cross and Ray and Nephews are very funky. Appleton steaks have a bit of that funk, but they're more nutty and, and sweet. Uh, the Dominican ones are just like smooth and just what you think of when a traditional rum, like a Bacardi type of rum. And then these are a little bitter and uh, uh, not as sweet. So which of those? I would go with the smooth because I don't want all the other funky flavors you were talking about to mess with the luchi. Yeah, we, we were funky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so which one did you pick? <clears throat> It's a, so, yeah. So if I was if I was to say on the smooth like unobtrusive type of rooms, sorry the uh, <coughs> the dried flower is caught in my throat. <coughs> <Huh>? But uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, okay. So Flora <clears throat> Flora del Cana is one of my uh, one of my go to uh, smooth regular rums. It, uh, I'm going to get a drink of water. Hold on. Yeah, it's basically a rum that you put in cocktails when you don't want to taste the rum. That's my mm. professional opinion on this rum. Yes, thank you, Volta. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, Flora del Caña is, uh, is a go-to. It is not seven years old. That is just a number seven that they put on it. I don't know why, probably to fool people into thinking it's seven years old. It's like the seventh variation. But it is an excellent rum and uh, much more affordable than uh, the higher end uh, Bacardi's. Mm. But those are also good. So don't don't get pigeonholed into thinking the Bacardi is some type of cheap rum, uh, like the Bacardi Estate, the Eight, the Twelve. Those are excellent rums as well. Do you have all of those too? I'm sorry. Do you have all of those too? Yeah. No, I've I've never been able to bring myself to get. One of the higher end Bacardi's. I know that they're good. I've had them like at a bar, but uh, I've just, whenever I'm, I'm out and I'm shopping for a rum, it's always like either something like really weird and unique or like, a, you know, a rail like type of liquor like this. Yeah. I like clean, smooth. You want it to not overpower the other rums that you have very um, delicate flavors if you go with yeah. the fruit the butterfly pea you don't want the rum to overpower and to kind of take over everything yeah and yeah yeah you may you may want to try a riff on it if you get a chance to experiment i know it's a light rum but you may a white rum you may want to try it with a rum agricole because that pairs really well with citrusy flavors this is the type of rum that's in a hemingway daiquiri I will always recommend that. Yeah, come over and try yeah. it out. <laughs> rum, rum agricole. It's made with uh, instead of molasses. It's actually made with uh, the uh, the sugar from a sugar cane. Mm, that makes sense. That sounds good. Yeah, I like the dark rum because it gives it like a more well rounded flavor than just like a basic light rum. But yeah. Now, like sounds amazing. Oh yeah. Give it a try. Well, tell us more about the yeah, cocktail. Right, what's, what's the first what's, step? What's the first step? From? Because I'm dying. I'm dying. We need to take. We need to take. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. mic's still on. Your mic's still on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So mise en place. Going back to what we need. We have rum, yeah. one and three quarter ounce. We have pineapple juice, one and a half an ounce. We have pineapple juice, one. Yes. Well, we have some fresh lime juice, about an ounce of fresh lime juice. Fresh lime. I have lime. I have lime. You need to, have you need to juice it? I need to juice it. <laughs> Hold on. How about, how about you use that knife? I, I've heard that Chef Nikki has excellent taste in knives. Those look beautiful. Okay. Can you give me a vessel to juice this in? <laughs> Well, you usually just juice it into the oh, doser. Oh, into the doser? Okay. It goes the other way. Other way. I knew that. Okay. <laughs> I just paint the cocktails, okay? Why don't you bring it closer to you? Okay. So we don't have to... All right. So let me juice this thing. 
Yeah, put it down. Use two hands. Don't put your fingers there. You're going to pinch them. I'm not putting my fingers there. <laughs> oh, you're terrifying. All right, how much How much lime juice? <laughs> one ounce. One ounce. Okay, that line is one ounce. This line? Yes. Okay, okay boom. Look at that. Wow. Like a professional. You yeah. got Alta here. Okay, it's mm -hmm. ready. Perfect. We're going to need some of the juice from that beachy can that you just opened. Beachy can. Yes, juice. An ounce of that. You just, just pour it pour into the... Pour, pour this in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That way you can just reuse the and then container. An ounce. Hold on, I got to do this over the sink. <laughs> Oops, that's, that's, that's more than an ounce. That's more than an ounce. Hold on. <laughs> pour it back. Okay, I got it. I got an ounce of lychee juice. Love it. Awesome. Okay, we're not going to put these pieces in the tree. We're going to put them in the street. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put everything except for the butterfly pea extract. You've already extracted your butterfly pea. Yes. Beautiful. That's so pretty. Okay. So literally all of the goodies, you just pour them all into your shaker because we just need to chill it down. Right? Down. Okay. okay. You need the you need the rum too. Uh, how and much? Pineapple how juice. much pineapple juice? One and a half ounce. One and a half. One. Is you can eyeball two? that. Okay. That's, yeah, it's going to be about uh yeah. There One you. of these things. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then rum. How much rum? Uh, rum, one and three quarter ounce. Um, yeah, it's about the same amount that you did yeah. there. Yeah, it's good. Like this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. And then the lychee juice that you have measured out? Yes, I, I added that in. Did you do the, what the the syrup? No, lychee juice. Well, there's lychee juice, but I think she just oh, poured it. Oh, did you syrup. do the syrup? No. So the oh. lychee juice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Pour the ice in here. Well, you pour this into the shaker. She oh. she just poured the ice into the other part. Oh, okay. We already had it. All right, cool. Now right. I do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Right. She's never used a Boston shaker before. I've never done this before, so thanks for like putting me on the spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Make sure you're gonna be able to open it. Okay. Right? Uh, okay, well that key here. You need to make sure you have at least a few fingers on top so it doesn't fly out on the top and the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you have a good hand on the top. Right? And that's <laughs> Up and down, up and down. The ice. Wait until your hands are super chill. You chill and they chill. Oh my god, that's so cold. <laughs> that's so cold, Chevaniki. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the restaurant. But for you, you want to keep your hand up. It's just less scary when you have a hand on the top and bottom in the restaurant because you don't want to you know, accidentally spray everybody. Now the hard part. <laughs> Okay, the trick there. So your top is a little slanted, correct? Yes. You want to hit 
kind of in between where the where the uh, what do you call where it's slanted. You want to hit in between on the bar gently. Don't break your bar, and then you want to do this motion. You're twisting. You're pushing the top and the bottom towards your bar. Oh, I got it. There we go. You did it. Oh, that's not so good. Okay. Okay. We want the ice as well. Oh my god, I made a cocktail. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, look, it's so pretty. That is so beautiful. I love it. I was looking for a small Not done yet, though. No. Okay, now this is where you put beautiful butterfly. Yeah, I got the top. Oh, see, I, I like the bubble she's using because... Oh, we got it, one of those. <laughs> Hold on. Hold we on. got one of those fancy cool bottles. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I love okay, it. Here, here. Hold on. Hold oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> no. no, we don't. This bottle needs does to be this, washed. Does this work like this? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. That might work. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Not work. quite. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, just pour, we'll just it slowly. pour it slowly. You can pour it into here and then pour it into oh, there. Oh, okay, okay. You, yeah, there you, go. you don't need that much. If you want extra color. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Look at you. so pretty. Wow. Okay. Oh, you got your garnish, your nuts. You can put them on like, the side of your cup. Oh, yeah, those are the lychee the oh. slices. We can use these. Use a skewer or something. Yeah, we can skewer it. Here, we'll just take a. I'm still ready to drink it. Bam. I just happen to have fresh butterfly pea flappers, so I'm going to put them in the water. Oh, wow. that's so beautiful. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Cheers. That's so pretty. Look at this. <laughs> wow. It was a fun. When you stir this, the color could potentially change a little bit to look like a magenta. Because the wine juice, the acid in the wine juice, and the pineapple um, changes the color of the butterfly from that dark, like dark blue. Mm -hmm. to a, what, what would you call that color? This color snack. Yeah, I I love that aspect of butterfly pea flowers. Like it's magic. It's like yeah. watercolor in real life. Yes. It is. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> and and there's like I'm not a huge fan of rum and I don't taste it at all. So this is mm. this is my kind of my tie. <laughs> and if you like it sweeter, that's where your simple syrup comes in. Mm -hmm. But I think I I prefer it like this where it's a, there's a little bit of tartness oh, but yeah, not, it's way better. Not too much like mm -hmm. I don't think it needs simple syrup personally for me. No, there's some there's some restaurants that'll make a mai tai and it's like pineapple juice, a ton of rum, and then grenadine to hide it. Mm. And I don't know where they came up with that as the idea of a mai tai. Yeah. This is much better. Grenadine is not even commonly found. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! I think this is one of my favorite cocktails we have made on the show. Yeah, she can make it. Seriously, it's so good. Like it's not only pretty, but it tastes like. I like all those flavor notes where it's like floral, but also a little acidic, like in- Oh yeah, I'm stealing the lychee syrup, and it's that not, is easy. It's like not overpowered and like, I'm also not like a huge fan of pineapple juice, but when it's like put together in other ingredients, like it works so well and it's just such a nice, mm. like uh, what's the word? Uh, combination? Yes, great combination. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Okay, so have you tried leaky nuts before? I have, but not, not from a can. So now I need to try this from the can. I like it. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. So oh, wow. From the leaky, combined with this kind of semi tart this is awesome yeah i mean it, okay. it adds it, that is that is a great like little secret ingredient if you're going to make a custom cocktail you don't tell anybody about it and you use lychee syrup instead of simple syrup it adds it I'm adds like a singing. yeah something a, a je ne sais quoi je if je you sais will quoi. Uh, <laughs> i no don't one know will pick it up <laughs> yes oh I, sorry and, and yes uh, chat chat's asking for flavor notes uh, so if i'm gonna be pretentious about it and do flavor notes. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so lychee to me, when you take normal lychee, there's always like uh, this this kind of like menthol undertone. It's it's a weird thing, and it may just be like my palate, but I think it's your palate. Well, no, no, like like there's always like this weird like like Hall's cough drop taste to it. But in this case, I think uh, the the syrup and the citric acid that it's soaking in yeah. has kind of evaporated it. So you mm -hmm. just get pure lychee. Well, now that I know I can get it in a can, I'll just pop these in as a snack. They're so good. It's pretty dangerous. Um, I have one of my daughter's friends. She would open a whole can, put some ice in it to the dip, and just like enjoy it. <laughs> we don't get leaky all year round. It's only yeah. seasonal. And these can ones are the only way you can get it all year round. They taste really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for introducing us to canned lychees and all these wonderful ingredients and such a tasty cocktail. Like I, I will, I think this is going to be my top favorite cocktail. So Dan, yeah, when I say I want a cocktail, this, this is what you should make. Yeah, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like challenge accepted. I gotta, I gotta find something that you like better than this. You know? Ooh, I love it. So has Volta made the salmon ceviche for you yet, Dan? No. I mean, well, like, there was left over from the show that we made together, yeah. so that's what he ate. So, Jeff, Nikki, you've made me salmon <laughs> ceviche. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> Volta has not. <laughs> okay. See, you could have a dinner party where you make the ceviche and then Dan can make okay yeah that's that's fair i can i can make that happen i'll just have to rewatch our episode to see like the right. stuff. especially how to how to cut the salmon because i remember i kind of like was like a little bit like butchering it a little bit i think you did pretty good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i have i have stolen your technique for cutting citrus now i feel like a proper restaurant. Oh yeah, person. remember you showed me like the proper way? That was so fascinating. I also couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop the link. There you are! <laughs> <laughs> Two shows at once. Oh, let's see. Can you look up the link to the show? Yes. It'll be a uh, Thai takeover on YouTube. Thai takeover. I'll yeah. drop. I'll drop the channel and the video. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely give Chef Nikki a subscribe. Yeah, you gotta check out her show. It's it's such a fun concept, and and the dishes that she makes on the show are very approachable even yes. to people noobs like me and, and and as somebody that struggled with with doing videos and audio and everything fantastic production value she's got a great crew oh they are awesome I love them. we haven't done any in a while we kind of took a break during the summer of filming but we have enough um stressed out but we are about to get ready to go film again so i miss i miss doing that i really do Oh, I'm, I'm excited to see. I guess it's like season two yeah. of Thai Takeover. <laughs> That's right. This is a big thing. 
All right. Well, All now, right. now we'll get to do a part that I am more confident in yes. than making a yes. cocktail is painting one. All right. All right. Nikki, are you sticking around for the painting? Um, love you can log me off and I'll watch. I'm going to go and watch it on YouTube. Ah, okay. Okay. So, okay, right. sounds well, good. Yeah. so then we will, we, we were so happy that you stuck around. And again, we're, we, yeah, we, man, it's so good. It's so yeah, good to have you here. Yeah, super honored to have you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, we are so alligated. We don't want to take more than 30 minutes of your time. <laughs> you're, you're good. If you just stop taking it off of your screen, but if I can still watch it, I'm going to film it on um, the stream. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, yes. Well, I will let me drop you out. I'm it's doing removed, tech support. Removed from stream. Just removed from stream. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it was great seeing you, Nikki. All right. We'll have to do that dinner party soon. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. I while I paint Dan, will you look up the episode of Thai Takeover? Absolutely. Let oh me my God! This. And we got to mention the drama queen spices too because those crispies we put them on literally yeah, everything yeah everything like, that like is on our on our dinner on our table where we eat we have the sugar-free maple syrup and chef nikki's crispies the drama queen uh because literally like every meal anything we're not joking it was there we put it on <laughs> our, our hawaiian brothers chicken last night and we, or no no Hawaiian Brothers chicken night before last and we yeah. put it on a Trader Joe's pizza <laughs> yeah. not Trader Joe's where was that uh, Target Target, Target pizza <laughs> oh man yeah yeah drama queen is yeah. delicious uh this is the really spicy one I would I would work your way up to it it's called drama queen for a reason is uh it's yeah yeah it's a lot it's a, extra a little goes a long way but like if you're feeling very adventurous I definitely recommend it indeed all right. all right, lots of stuff to, yeah. to to cover on these. All right, David, yes, all the all the love all the comments, guys. Thank you for all the encouragement. Uh, Volta, people were extremely excited about you shaking the cocktail. They oh. said you did a great job. Oh, thanks, everyone. I appreciate the moral support. That was kind of new for me. Yes, and uh, let's see, Yolanda is asking about saying the Jamaican rum. Yolanda, I know you love, I know you love Appleton and the Jamaican stuff. And this one, I, 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 I agree with, with Chef Nikki that uh, it would totally overwhelm uh, lychee. And that I, I, I would, ordinarily I would absolutely say yes, Jamaican rum and a Mai Tai is what's supposed to be there. But in this case, she's 100% correct. I stand. I I have to agree with her. Yeah, you could not possibly taste lychee mm -hmm. with Jamaican rum. Yeah. No way on earth. Yeah. Uh, and they're also asking about the Target pizza. Oh, <laughs> Target pizza was okay. It was actually. I was surprised. It was surprisingly good. I don't even know the I, my brand. expectations were not high, but they were exceeded. Honestly, Trader Joe's has failed me with their pizza crust because they got me hooked on them, and now they're like just not even available. Yeah, not failed as in it was bad. Failed as in where it. the heck is it? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, back to my cocktail. Oh yeah, know. yeah, your stuff. Right. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'm so. giving our, our giving our fan base attention <laughs> I here. I know, I know. But I want to paint. Okay, so okay. we're we're doing. Uh, even though the the glass we used is technically two parallel lines, well, this one is going to be two slightly slanted lines. <laughs> uh, and Wild we're gonna, woman. We're gonna have like two of the lychees at the top with a skewer going through them. So it's I'm gonna. But also in front of them, we're going to have, um, I believe the picture that Chef Nikki sent me had a few mint leaves. So that's totally optional. We, we didn't end up using it. I think it's just for like decor. I don't even know if we have mint. Yeah, we don't have mint. No. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint it because that's what I painted here. <laughs> mint, mint is good in cocktails like this if you have a sufficient amount to smell while you're drinking it. Yeah. Most places do not put enough mint yeah. on them. So the, the mint leaves are just like a couple of, well, I'm doing three and they're essentially like a few like wavy lines that essentially combine into like a leaf shape. So uh, very organic and loose. So if you, if you take a look at mint leaves, they have like jagged ed edges. So that's why um, you don't even have to worry about these looking like, you know, real leaves. 
And then we have the lychee in the back. So it's going to be kind of like a circular shape. And then another one behind and then a skewer. So one line that kind of pierces through. And then we have a little loop thing for the skewer. And then let's see. Oh, I'm just going to like slightly draw out kind of like a square shape to give the impression of the ice cube that's like peeking kind of here at the surface. And I'm just going to do one because most of the of like the beverage, the way we're going to paint it, uh, we're just going to like kind of give that look and feel of the ice instead of actually uh, drawing out every single like ice cube. Yeah. Uh, David's asking about the mint garnish. Uh, scent. It would be scent. I guess you could chew on it if you really wanted to. <laughs> but but uh, uh, Chef Nikki's garnish though with real butterfly peel. I mean fresh. Yeah. Uh, that That's the way to do it. I wonder what those taste like. I have oh, no yeah. idea. Yeah, I wonder like if Chef Nikki is around, if she, if she can let us know like, can you buy the fresh ones anywhere? I think I've only seen dried ones, and I guess we have to go visit her garden. I don't know. She she literally. I, I had her in the in the queue. She literally just jumped off. Oh, okay, I had, okay. Yeah, I I had her I had her muted, but she's she will let you know if All she's right. listening. Yeah, yeah Chef Nikki, uh, feel free to reply in chat or text Volta. But yeah, and iceberg. I don't know. All right. Ooh, so cool I'm going to start painting and I'm going to leave a little bit of like uh, a blank spot at the top where, you know, it's like the ice, the cube, the surface. Uh, and I'm just going to like add a little bit of water. So I'm painting with water first. And I'm going to grab a little bit of purple. Uh, I'm, I'm adding some water to it too because I don't want it to be super dark. So I want to mm -hmm. dilute it with a ton of water. Uh, Nikki's asking, what was the question? Oh, uh, where can we get fresh butterfly pea flowers? Is that possible? Do we just have to come visit your garden? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm dropping in some of this color and you see that it's automatically like starting to uh, fill into the shape where I laid down water and Instead of like covering the entire area, I'm just like kind of slowly dabbing the brush into this so that you can kind of. She says in my garden, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I do not think that they will travel where most places yeah. have them. So yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love that she's got a garden of, of butterfly pea flowers. Look at this cool jar I found to store the lychees. Oh, that is a cool jar. Can you show it to the... I don't know if they'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it. It looks so cool, all yeah. those glowy lychees. Uh, let's see. So she says, I have to grow it new each summer as they don't like the winter on this side of the hemisphere. Ah, wow, that is some butterfly pea dedication. Yeah. Butterfly pea pro. So now I'm adding a little bit of water underneath here because I don't want to. So one, one tip here with when you're trying uh, careful not to mix the purple with yellow watercolor because the, the two colors together will create a muddy color. So one way to avoid it is just to kind of uh, very like lightly add a little bit of water so you have like a buffer zone in between these two colors. Here. So now I have like a lighter area and then here at the bottom, I'm going to mix in like a very light yellow, uh, like almost, let's see, I'm going to add tons. So maybe like a touch of green just because I had already had it on the palette. But if I'm adding yellow and tons of water to lighten it up, so it's going to be very, very faint. You know, the mixture of uh, the uh, pineapple juice and the lychee and the rum that created a very kind of like light yellowish color. So now I'm just going to paint that at the bottom. That was like our first layer. Chef Nikki instructed me to please refrigerate the lychee, which oh. I did, just did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good tip. I mean, it's a, it's a fruit and it's in sugar. You would think it wouldn't need to be refrigerated, but, well, but yeah, yeah, it's also not that much sugar and yes that probably is a breeding ground for mold if you leave it out for like yeah. more than 30 minutes 
All right. In hindsight. So while this area is still wet, I'm going to lift off a highlight. So I'm just going to drag down my brush, drag it and lift. And it's totally okay if like a little bit of the purple gets into this area because like it's just barely touching it and you'll see that it won't like necessarily like blend the two, color, the two colors into a muddy color. Um, so it's totally okay, but I just wanted to lift off a highlight because you know the light source is hitting our cocktail glass from this direction. So it's just nice to add a little bit of that um, highlight to show it a little bit more dimension. And then let's see, I'm just going to add maybe a few more kind of like little taps with my brush here and there. And the reason why I'm doing that instead of, you know, covering it full is, you know, I want to give the impression that there's like ice cubes and, and um, essentially ice in the glass. So it's not all going to be like one even kind of color. It's just going to have like little lighter, darker areas. So a good way to do that is just to kind of like gently like tap the brush. You're not even just letting the water kind of do its thing. And if you want to lift off a few areas, you can like, if you just want to lift off a couple of lighter areas, just show more of the ice. Mm. That's possible too. The chef is saying that, uh, that, it, that it is true. Lychee does not keep well, even the refrigerator no more than a week. So. Oh, that's good to know. No not that to like I them. think oh, I didn't even think it was going to last that long because I want to eat the whole thing. Yeah, so I'm over here contemplating lychee dishes. If I can figure out how to make a lychee souffle. <laughs> lychee souffle, oh my God. What about using lychee on top of the souffle, like as a garnish? Yeah, or... yeah, you could use it. You could use the syrup as a way to sweeten the, you know, the, the, the mix that goes into the meringue and then put the lychee, Ooh. lychee nuts? What's the word for fruit? Fruits. Is it fruit? Is I it think so, fruit? yeah, okay. lychee fruit. Yeah, the fruit itself. Because it does have a pit inside. It usually comes with a pit, I believe. Oh, fried rice. There we go. <gasps> she just said it. That's a, that's a good nice. idea. Uh, I had some great sushi rice the other day. That would be good. Yeah. Ooh, I bet it would be good with just a little bit of like, uh, with something a little bit like just a touch of vinegar uh, as a replacement for omabushi and an onigiri. Oh, that's interesting. I would try all those things. All right, so I'm painting the mint leaves. Yes, the mint <laughs> leaves. Probably not to eat unless you really want to. Yeah. Uh, let's see, just dropping in some color. And you also want to, you know, if, if you are adding highlights to your shapes, uh, it's a good idea to kind of add them to the rest of the shapes too, just so they, they match thematically but it's not a deal breaker and then you also want you know the other side if you're adding a highlight the other side to be a little bit darker and then for the lychee so the color of the lychee is, is very much like a uh, light mm, pale pink ish yeah. like a very uh, beige like color yeah, it's like, it, like it, it, the descriptor, you would call it like flesh colored, but yeah, not, that does not sound appetizing. Um, it is an appetizing version of that. No, but one, I'm just trying to like describe how to paint it. Like water chestnut. Yeah, one way that I do it is uh, I use this yellow ochre color that is kind of like a sandy watercolor, um, but diluted with a ton of water. So it's like going to be very, very light. And it's just gonna kind of give a hint of, and like even if, if you add a little bit too much, like lift off some with your brush, cause we don't want it to be, uh, you know, super dark because it's it's not, it's not dark. Uh, and then you could add just a touch of like, uh, maybe a little bit of pink mixed with a bit of orange and add that just like kind of on the bottom um, to kind of uh, show a little bit of shading, like some shadows here, but definitely like lift off. So see how I'm, I'm painting, but I'm also lifting off so it's not overpowering, just kind of gives a hint of those colors in there. 
All right, and then the final thing is to see adding the skewers. So I'm just gonna mix in kind of this greenish color. It can be any color that you want. And then you could also do is a, a faint outline of the glass. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Payne's Gray mixed with water. And just gonna kind of outline. Okay, this line got a little bit too big for me. Oops. <laughs> the line got away from you? The line got away from me. The line got <laughs> so, away from Sometimes you. I like to turn it around. So um, definitely make it as easy as, as you want. But actually, I want to show you how you could correct something like this. I'm glad this mistake happened. What a happy accident. What a happy accident. Okay, so I'm just going to use a, a different brush pen because I'm out of water. Um, but you can add, so I'm squeezing in a few droplets of water right on this area. And then I'm, I'm like softening this edge and then lifting off and then cleaning my brush. So if you by accident like added a line that, you know, maybe is a little bit too wide for your liking, uh, you can, especially if it's a very light color. So if it's like already diluted with a ton of water, a lot of times you can essentially erase that. So that is one of my like favorite things about watercolor is that um, really any mistake can be fixed because it's not, um, it's what like you can just add a little bit of water and boom it's it's like fixed all right so there you have it our Thai my Thai is such a delicious cocktail i am like looking forward to finishing mine yes the actual i have one. not drank at all <laughs> i tried i had to resist for you yeah oh thank you dan yeah yeah <laughs> well and, and thanks chef nikki for joining us that was wonderful oh yes Thank you so much, Chef Nikki. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on our show and um, sharing this delicious cocktail. Like I'm super excited to enjoy it later and also just know that it's like uh, a good, like when Dan is asking me, he says, you want a cocktail? I'll be like, yeah, and I want to tie my tie. Now okay. I'm going to have to keep butterfly <laughs> pea extract around all the time. And lychee cans. And lychee cans. So many lychee cans. Yeah. Did you uh, did you find that episode? Did you drop oh, a link? Dude, I'm going to drop the link now. I was I was so distracted by everything else. I completely forgot. I'll, I'll drop the thing now. So sorry, Chef Nikki. I'm going to do that now. I'm a multitasker. I'm, I'm a terrible multitasker. <laughs> You should know that. Yeah, we just want to drop in uh, the episode and definitely subscribe to Chef Nikki's YouTube channel. It's such a fun, like there's so many like great recipes on there that you can try at home. Um, yeah, just, just drop the channel. And then there's also like an episode uh, where I, I, I'm in it and you get to see um, how I uh, cook some things. <laughs> <laughs> how i chop some things <laughs> i'm just going through your jet i like all the shorts <laughs> yeah oh yeah i've been enjoying chef nikki's shorts and the reels uh they're so fun and like really good tips to like um how to uh cook certain things the proper way to like chop things uh super helpful so highly highly recommended did you drop it in, in chat yeah drop it in chat and then and then feature it on the uh, seat. I am. I am not. I am not that. I'm disappointing in my technical. So you can show. Oh. Oh. oh you just you just oh, featured I just her. Featured Chef Nikki. Yeah. Uh, they, well, that's cool too. Yeah. It snuck um, in here. We'll just we'll we'll feature Chef Nikki's channel. Yeah. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> I didn't know that was a feature on on Streamyard. Yeah, it's really fun, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> yes. All right, that's that's nice, man. Streamer is good. I gotta yeah. admit. Aww. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we know this was a little bit of a longer episode, but we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely try to make this cocktail. It's super delicious. I don't know why you always apologize for running uh, long. Have you have you uh, ever no. been on Twitch? No. Those streams are two five hours. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, you have short streams. Yeah, I have fairly shorter ones. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but again, it's Chef, because you want to go eat pizza. I, I do. I am hungry. We're gonna get pizza and then put. Uh, we're gonna put this on the pizza because uh, this drama queen is where it's at. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well, we'll yeah. see you same time, and, same place. And I interrupted yeah. you while you were thinking, Chef. Again. Oh yes. Yes. Stop interrupting me, <laughs> Chef Nikki. Thank you so much for coming on. If you guys are in the Dallas area, you gotta go to Asian Mint. There are several locations, so you've got no excuses. It's delicious food, and you get to support a very talented local chef. So you gotta show up. Yes. Oh, and speaking of supporting talented local people, you were gonna be in the other art fair in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, I'll I'll mention that next week. But also, I mean, they've got to get them two weeks. They got to prepare. Oh yeah, yeah, guys. I will be in the other art fair, which is like the art fair, but it's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts four days, so if you're in the Dallas area, come by. Check it out. I will have links and codes because you do have to buy tickets mm -hmm. to attend. But I get uh, a certain amount of like free tickets, so uh, I'm happy to share those. And I hope you guys like can come check it out. It'll, it's going to be fun and lots of art. And You're all even that. doing a guided meditation. Yes, not no watercolor, watercolor meditation. It's a workshop. Watercolor workshop. Yeah, so I'm I'm also leading five sessions. Five sessions. Doing four days. Yeah. That's not that bad. Are those the is so yeah, so you can come, yeah. sign up. Yeah, you, do you the do have to. sessions. Mm -hmm. But you gotta you gotta book those in advance. Yes, too. yeah, because filling up fast. Right, as we speak. <laughs> like limited seating. It is limited seating. <laughs> it actually is limited seating. Uh, all right. Well guys, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next week and we hope you have a great week and enjoy it. Hope you enjoy some tea. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you Bye. again, Chef. Thank you, Chef Nikki. <laughs> Interrupting. Thanks, Yolanda. <laughs> <laughs>